on the 1980 Cologne Motor Show on Germany, Suzuki present a concert by They Are Target, an European design studio, and Hans Muth was the creator of this impressive machine. The catch and a name came from the swords used by ancient samurai warriors. A very well-matched name for this sharp look model. The final production buy was identical to the Motor Show concept and this motorcycle was an instant success. On Japanese market, the riders can buy catanes on all engine sizes, from the smaller 250 onto the biggest ones. The Katana is a very high collectible item and is a model that was very ahead of their time in comparison with other brands' bikes. The American Barber Motorsport Museum on Birmingham, Alabama is a huge facility and of course the Katana is there. On 1985, Suzuki offered an Evolution, a 750. This one is the only bike with a unique feature, a pop-up headlamp. On silver or white paint, it looks impressive. <laughs> On 2005, Suzuki present another evolution, a katana-based concept bike, the Stratosphere, a narrow six-cylinder engine machine. This astonishing bike never go to final production. Suzuki right now offers a much modern version of the katana, but this bike have Two mistakes. The motocross style handlebar don't fit on this sport machine, and the cut step on the headlamp fairing looks wrong. This is how it should be done. This section is the best of this new bike. I still prefer the original one, the exclusive limit plate number final edition version with the metallic silver paint job. It is just amazing. <laughs> 